Rick, I know, I know you had to know your workload was going to go up. Did it go up this much, 180 yards? Um, you know, Really, that's what the coaches are telling me all week. You know, what I'm saying they have a lot of plays for me. You got to step up, and we're gonna throw it to you. What are you gonna do? Um, with Justin going down, I feel like I had to come back strong for the team, and I feel like that's what I did today. How did you feel like your support system and the other receivers did to kind of keep it so you were, you were getting open? Oh, amazing! I mean, Zach Rogers, first play of the game, physical play. Um, DeAnthony, Vincent Dallas, and Matt Milton all coming in and playing. Rajon Neal, fresh on the receivers. You know, he's great. You know, he's doing good. Oh, most definitely. I was running across the field and I saw Zach hinging up, ready to hit him, and I was like, he's going to kill him, and he did. You know, that's what happened. <laughs> In the back. Derek, a lot, of, a lot of it's been made about now that you're going to get all kinds of bracket coverage, double coverage. What kind of defense and like, coverages did you see today as the main guy? Um, you know, they played a lot of man today, and I feel like, you know, we exploited that with throwing a lot of quick, you know, routes, you know, seeing if our big receivers and other receivers can make plays on them, and, you know, it did. And uh, it also opened it up for the run game. I mean, you know, with blocking, it was a lot easier to block a lot of man, so it was good. You've talked about being more consistent on every play, good or better. Uh, I mean, you guys need to play like this the rest of the season without Dustin. Oh, most definitely. Um, it's something I work on, you know, all season on, you know, where it be, just working hard in practice like it's a game, you're treating it just like a game. But uh, we got we have a good running backs, you know, a good old line, so, you know, there's a lot of support help with that. Thorne, I know you guys have got a lot of flat and ground games since two weeks ago. Just talk about what you did today, over 100 yards, five yards of carrying, and how you feel things with you. I think the O-line did a great job playing physical, uh, playing fast. Uh, we got some good SEC opponents coming in here next week and these couple of weeks coming up, so we got to continue just to get better in progress as an offense. Uh, you know, Derek, your, Derek Dooley was really complimentary of their of their run defense. What did you see from them today, and how difficult was it to, to run for those yards today? They did a great job of filling gaps and being where they needed to be when they needed to be there. But uh, they played fast. They played hard. They, they played with great effort. And uh, we, we definitely saw some great, some great uh, run defense out there. But uh, we're going to see even better next week, so we got to pick it up. Torrey, when we talked to you after the Florida game, you were not so happy. How bad did you want to get back out there today and put up some numbers? I wanted it bad, and I continue to want it because the running game's still not where it needs to be. So I got to continue to get better as a running back, and we got to continue to get better as a running team. So Boyd can throw the ball any way that he wants to. Tori, it looked like you guys did a lot more running on the outside, on the perimeter. I know you bounced some runs outside, but was some of that by design? It was. It was. We, we wanted to get the ball on the perimeter because we felt like we had an advantage there. So we did, and uh, we took it, we took full advantage of it. So that's uh, hats off to Coach Chain and his scheme. Derek, uh, you guys were pretty good on third down today. What's what's the secret? I mean, you guys were bad at last year. What's, what's changed? Really, it's just uh, confidence. You know. Making those plays and practicing, you know, having it secondhand, you know, come through the game is just make the same plays you made in practice. It's pretty easy. Tony, you kept talking about how the running game looked a little better today, but has a long way to go. What kind of mistakes did y'all make today? Is that how you would think about it that it was better, but not where it needed to be? Well, for one, I can't fall when I got a <laughs> touchdown, so that was terrible on my part. <laughs> and uh, we just got to continue to hit it more. Running backs got to trust it. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo did a good job on some of the runs of, of being where they needed to be, but uh, we got to continue just to uh, play hard as we can and kind of and kind of open up the run as best as we can as we go and prepare for Georgia. David, were you, were you surprised when you saw me in coverage in the? First quarter, it seemed like a lot of people were kind of stunned at that. Um, I mean, we watched a lot of film on them, and they always played a lot of man, you know, so even some cover one. But uh, it wasn't that surprising. Um, they stayed in a lot of the game, and, uh, you know, we tried to make plays on them. Right here. Uh, both of you guys are Georgia guys. How much do you uh, circle next week's game? <laughs> but they, did, they killed us last year in their home place, so it's definitely a tally on the schedule. Um, but it starts in practice. We're going to have to have a great week of preparation, be better than we were this game, and prepare as best as we can.